great, obviously. Anytime you're you're mired in a long losing streak, you know, uh, sleepless nights, um, you, you're just, you know, feel like you'll do anything to get a win. And, and obviously, it's no coincidence, you know, Nicola comes back, Bones come back. So as you get a little bit healthier, and those guys went out and played well. But uh, I'm just proud of our guys, you know, um, hasn't been easy. But like I said, pregame, like I really feel our group has stayed together. You, know, you were at practice last night. There's good energy. It's not like guys are jumping. We understand that the injuries are a part of it. And as we get healthy, if we stay the course, good things are going to happen. So, uh, yes, it feels outstanding to uh, to get a win. And it feels outstanding to get a couple of our guys that have been out back in the lineup. How much is it just like a pressure release to have Nicola back on open before you always say it makes everything easier? Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, you know, that this whole team is kind of, you know, built around Nicola, you know, he's the focal point and centerpiece of our offense. And, uh, and the same can be said for our defense. So uh, while he was out, you know, we, we struggled. And I think that happens on any team when you take out an MVP, there's going to be, you know, uh, uh, side effects from that. So to have him back, I think was a confidence booster for our guys. And, you know, right from the very first play when he drew the foul, got to the foul line, saw it go in. And, um, you know, 24, 15, and 7 on your first game back uh, is outstanding. So, yes, calming influence. Um, and uh, it was just great to see him out there and, uh, and playing at the level he played at. To that point, 19 points and five three-pointers pretty good. You can see that Bones. Yeah, Bones was great. You know, and uh, I've said it the last couple of days. You know, during a five-game homestand, you know, Bones Highland was a huge part of that. Uh, I think there were three games within that five where we had he, he was creating a new season and career high game after game. Uh, he got hobbled with the ankles, uh, and, and he got right. And last night at practice, uh, he was flying around. And uh, so I, I was excited about the possibility of him coming back because with his speed and quickness and his shooting ability, he's always a threat. And, and obviously he was outstanding in 20 minutes to put up those types of numbers, uh, you know, shows you how valuable he is. Uh, I thought Aaron Gordon was great. Uh, obviously, I thought Will and Monte did their job. Uh, Faku, 10 points off the bench, five assists. Uh, this was a team win. Yes, Nicole and um, Bones came back and were great, but this was a team win uh, against a team that is a little banged up. Uh, but it's great to start our seven-game road chip off with a win, and hopefully we can continue that moving to Orlando. Uh, I went from good to bad. You know, that's what I noticed. Yeah. Uh, the first half, I and I told the guys at halftime, don't get bored with success. I thought that we were up 20 at halftime, and um, I, I just talked about our defensive numbers. I thought it was great. Obviously, you know, they scored 35 and then 33 in the fourth quarter. Um, we gave up 15 threes and 48 in the paint. Uh, but I tell you what, Vinny, I'd much rather clean this up after a win uh, and break a six-game losing streak. And that's all that matters. Hopefully this gives us a little bit of uh, confidence moving forward uh, and kind of gets that bad taste out of our mouths. Was there relief in the locker room? Like, did you feel it? I, I don't know if relief was the right word because uh, I don't think any of us ever doubted that we were still a good team. Uh, I think we were just, you know, when you're as banged up as you are, you're going to hit a tough spell. And, and how you handle that tough spell will determine how you come out of it. Uh, so I don't know if relief is the right word, but there was definitely, um, you know, some joy, some smiles, some hugs. Um, and as corny as that sounds, man, like uh, winning is a great, uh, great, uh, you know, pain reliever. You know, we, we've all been uh, down in the dumps. And uh, to get this win tonight kind of just stops all that and, and, and allows us to kind of get back to feeling good about ourselves. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, our mentality never changes. You know, I think that's something that we've prided ourselves on for years. Uh, we've had a ton of injuries. This is the first time we've had to play without Nicola, you know, which is a which is a little bit different. But you know, no Jamal Murray, no PJ Dozier, no uh, Michael Porter Jr. for the foreseeable future. Um, I love the guys in that locker room. I'll go to war with them, you know, and, and, and obviously tonight was just one win, but after losing six in a row, uh, by no means that we said, all right, well, we're going to change our goals now. Like there, there is 62 games left. 
so much basketball to be played. Uh, and that's why you can't get too high and you can't get too low. You got to try to stay the course. Um, so, you know, you, you move on to play another day. We've heard a lot about Bones' range. And I feel like tonight, maybe we saw it more than we have in the previous hour of many games. Is that something you guys talk about? Like, hey, this is a good shot. Maybe he's off this one, or are you just going to kind of let him figure it out? Himself? Yeah, I mean, you know, going back to the draft process, you know, when Tim Connolly in the front office targeted Bones as one of our potential picks at 26, uh, you know, there's, there's videos of Bones on YouTube, you know, just training. 40 footer after 40 footer. So, you know, it's a shot that he can make and is comfortable making. Uh, they played a lot of zone in that second half, which allowed some of those threes to happen. We ran a couple of ATOs for bones to get him looks. Uh, and that's what I liked is that he didn't even force the issue at times. You know, he, he made the right play. So um, yeah, he's got range. He can get to the basket. He's got a really good handle. Um, he just got to stay away from those fourth quarter technical fouls. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.